Hello there, it's Jen and it's Friday, January 26th. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining me today on my Facebook Live. I've got some really cute projects that I'm going to share with you. But what I like to do first is I like to do a draw for the project that I made the week before. And how you get in on that draw is you comment, like, or share, and then you'll automatically be in on that draw. So let me just ah, grab the project that I did the week before. So let me just pop to the craft desk for a second. Oh, and you're getting a little sneak peek of something I'm using today. Some chocolates, Valentine things. Hello, Nicole. So this is a card that I made last week, a really pretty card with a fun fold um, and some antiquing and a bunch of fun stuff on it. So it's a beautiful card and I'm going to do a draw for it now. So again, the way you get in on that is to comment, like, and share. So be sure to get in on this week's draw by again sharing or commenting or any of those things so let me just present the screen and we'll do the draw for next for last week and then we'll get on with making some stuff so here we go um these are all the people and as long as you're dem you're not a demonstrator and you are canadian you can win my draw so congratulations carol um i will be in touch with you and congratulations there we go so let me just stop that share jump back here um hello to marlene and nancy welcome welcome so before i forget to if you don't have this celebration catalog or this mini catalog and or this annual catalog from stampin up and you're not a demonstrator and you don't have a demonstrator please reach out and i'd love to help you out okay so let's without further ado pop to the crap the crap desk oh dear <laughs> um nicole says congratulations carol thanks carol thanks nicole um okay let me try that again let's pop to the craft desk here we go and i am making some valentine container type things this today they're super cute and um i'm gonna start i'm gonna make three so i'm gonna start with maybe the more complicated one but they're none of them are hard and then i'm gonna move to a super easy one at the end and so comment and liking share and you're gonna get all three projects um in the mail so um they may have to be unassembled um but they'll be stamped and ready to go so um okay so the first thing i'm using here is these things here they're called the square pillow boxes and they are in the mini catalog and i'm gonna they come in a box of 10 and there are some adhesive pieces on here and then they're all pre-scored so the first thing you want to do is you want to start folding in on those score lines. I have a slightly different camera angle today, so I'm just gonna check everything's okay. It's actually sliding a little tiny bit. I'm just gonna tighten things up for a second. It was a new option on there today for cameras, so I decided to try it and we'll see if it's any better or any worse. <laughs> I don't know. I can see we're a little bit crooked now too. I'll just, I'm gonna move the candy a little bit. And I'll pull, make sure I'm pulling myself in here. Hello, Ruth, and hello, Marg. Okay, so I'm just um, gently folding in here on all these score marks, all pre-done for you, just gentle folds in. And um, if you're wondering which way to fold these when you get them, I'm folding, this is where it's indented, so I call this a valley. And you wanna fold and make that valley into a mountain. So that's how you're gonna know how to do that. And all it takes is folding it once the wrong way, and then you realize, oops, and you can always just refold it. Okay, so I'm folding all those in, and then I'm going to go around and where there, each where there's a corner. I've got something digging into my leg here. There we go. I can get in further. Where there's a corner, I'm going to just kind of pinch it so that I get a nice crisp. Okay, so now I'm going to take it, and literally this box just folds up like this. You want to put this stuff on the inside, the adhesive on the inside. So I'm going to peel those adhesive sides off and that's going to be the box. So let me just lay that flat to do that. And tell me, do you give Valentines to anyone? Do you give them to friends? Do you have a partner? Do you give them to coworkers? I love giving out little treat packages just to friends. 
my kids are past the age that they would do Valentine's, but when they were little, oh, look at that, I ripped that one there. That's all right. Um, I would send little treat packages into school with some, you know, something really cute and all that until they got too old, they're boys, until they got too old and said, Mom, no, I don't want you to do that. So it just closes up like that, and that's the treat pouch, all done like that. So you could just easily open it like so. And you can put, fill it with treats. So I want to decorate the outside. Now I could have stamped this ahead of time, but it is slightly shiny. This is actually a food safe box. Um, so it, it, you have to like um, heat set it after or um, emboss it and then rub something on there, a brayer or something like that would be good. This is actually one of my, uh, this week, this week, this month, my projects where if you um, buy these or the brayer, then you get three more project ideas with it. And all of the project ideas have decorated boxes. So um, and, like decorate actually on the box, but I'm gonna do some decorations around the box. So I'm gonna start with this piece of paper that I've already cut and uh, here, and it is from, I'm not gonna show you the whole suite. I'm just gonna show you quickly the papers. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to hold them up here. They're from the Be My Valentine. And uh, lots of cards, Eileen says, for Valentine's Day, I'm guessing. And I'm going to just wrap this. Now, the front of the box, see the seams are here on the side? I want that to be the back so that the front looks nice and smooth. So it's going to fold down like that. So I'm going to wrap this so that the seam on this will be at the back. So I'm just going to loosely wrap it around. And then when I have it kind of in position, I'm going to pinch right there along the edge, just so it follows that curve. And this is just kind of pre-scoring it and this one too. Okay, and then I'm going to take some uh, tear and tape. You need some sort of strong adhesive for this because there's a lot of pressure on that box. So I'm just taking this, just trying to find my end. Here it is. And I think this view is a little closer than normal. So I just got to remember to shove everything in. You can see I've got my little Stampin' Up! tray here with all my stuff on it that I need that I've pre-cut. I just I have three projects I want to show you today, so I knew that it would be tough to get them all in if I didn't do some pre-cutting. So I'm going to just pull this off. You know what? And I changed my tip out, so I'm going to change it back. Let me just find my tip wherever it went. I, it's missing on me. And of course I have another one out in front of the TV. Okay, so we'll just do, keep using the fingernails. And I'll put this back so I don't lose it. Um, I have two of these take your pick tools and I'm using one out in front of the TV to make some cards for my team we do card swaps but I just nails are not always the best thing for stamping because I can't get at that with a little poke I can't believe I've lost my oh there it is I think it just needs a little poke from my sharp end of my take a pick tool and I know it's here somewhere it's just hiding on me Okay, one more time. Oh, you know what? I'm going to break my rule and use my scissors. I just need something to lift it a little bit. There we go. Um, okay, so <laughs> made a nice mess of that. Um, I've got a little bit hanging off. You could just peel it over. Okay, so again, that's the back of the box. I'm going to stick that on. My curves are helping it shape perfectly. I want that tape to be underneath. And I'm going to line this up. Not great, but it's not bad. There we go. And now I'm going to use um, this stamp set here. It's called Celebrate with Tags. It's one in the annual catalog. I've used a lot because it's got different. In fact, I think this is a really great stamp set for all occasions. So if you don't have a lot of all occasions, got a happy birthday. This is a to and there's a from, which is always great for tags. A Merry Christmas, um, a Valentine's, uh, another Christmas. Let's celebrate you made with love, hearts. Um, and a mitten. So there's lots of great stuff in that. And I'm going to use the Made with Love. And I've got a little tag that I've pre-done. And that is from the Thoughtful Expressions Dies, which is in the mini catalog. It has all those little circles and those fun little shapes. 
and I'm going to look and see what you guys are saying as I take a drink of water. Hello, Yvonne. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to start with Sweet Sorbet because that is the color of that cardstock. That designer series paper. Sorry, Sweet Sorbet and Petal Pink. So I'm going to do Made with Love on here. And when I did my sample, I thought, yeah, I'm not loving that so much. So what I did was I stamped it again with petal pink, and then I cut out the little pieces. And it's not hard to do. Let me just show you quickly. I need to get my wipe. Here it is. Oh, and I, look what I just found. <laughs> my dig whip tool. That's good, because I might need it again. Right in front of me, like I knew it would be. Sorry, I didn't mean to be doing this off camera. Okay, um, you're probably yelling at me. You probably saw it sitting there going, it's there. Um, petal pink. And I'm just stamping these words. I actually don't like how that was not centered either, so I'm going to flip that over. And I'm going to grab my sweet sorbet again. I love the sweet sorbet. It's not a bright, bright red. It's just a pretty red. Okay, so I want this more in the center. I just need to lean over more. Made with love. Okay, that's better. Better. Okay, I'm warmed up now. <laughs> so I'm not going to cut this all out. Cut this all out because I've already cut it. But just to show you, it's super easy to hand cut something. And the trick really is to move the paper not the stamps and then to work in a smaller area like I would just cut this right down and then just move that paper to cut around so that's how you do that okay so I've got these here I'm going to pop them upside down and throw a few dimensionals on them right here I gotta tell you having this bowl of chocolates here in my office all morning has been very bad <laughs> Because they're just saying, eat me, eat me. Okay, so, so once they're in the packaging, they'll be much better. Um, okay, so here we go. Made with love. I just thought this was pretty, a little raised up. And also two colors, which is nice. So there's actually red showing underneath a little bit, which is kind of fun. So there we go. Much prettier, I think. Okay, so we're going to add that to the front of our box. But first I'm going to add some ribbon. So this is a sweet sorbet. It's actually in the Be Mine um, suite as well. That's the one with the B right at the front of the mini catalog. And um, very nice stuff. But you don't have to use the B. Um, and this paper, this Be Mine paper, is nice because it has an opposite side. So I just tied a knot there. And now I'm just tying a little bow. Um, and this is nice ribbon. It's sweet sorbet with a white um, edge to it, which is nice. So when I tie my bows, you can see I'm leaving it on the spool just so again I don't cut any extra. And then I'm just going to pull it a little bit and then tighten it up. And then I'm going to get my ribbon scissors. So these are ones that I keep specifically for projects. And I'm going to trip that. I see that my camera is leaning again. So I'm just going to try and straighten it up. Hold your eyes for a second. Hopefully that's a little bit better. At least everything's still in frame, so that's good. Okay, let's put away some of this stuff. Messy Stamper Jen. And um, then I'm going to add this on here. We'll add a little bit of tape on the back. Like this. Made with love. So cute. And then I also die cut a little heart. And this heart is from... I'll put all the dies over the side so I can show you. This right here, this set, it's called Radiating Stitches. So that's the heart right there. It is one of the online exclusives and it's got these nice frames. Um, so you can find it on the website under products and then online exclusives. So I'm going to just tuck this little heart in here. And add a little bit of tape just to the bottom here. I'm going to tuck it right in here like this. How cute is this? And let's add a little bit of bling here. So these uh, gems are also from the Be Mine section. And they've got, from the sweet, I mean, I've got all these nice colors. Um, and I'm going to add, um, take a pick tool, it's right in front of me. I'm going to add one of the petal pink hearts. 
Okay, this is where I need my other tip, which I now know where it is. I'm gonna put that one right there. Take the lids off. And let's grab this one. Sometimes if you just flex this paper, it's easier to grab those little hearts. And, um, oh, I grabbed the wrong color. It's not gonna show up, is it? So I'm gonna grab the petal pink. I'm gonna put it on top of this heart. Let go, you. And there we go. There's our first, oh, we gotta add the chocolate. I was gonna say that we're done with our first little box, but no, we're not. We need to add some chocolate to it. And I am gonna check your comments. So I'm gonna open this up just like so. And I'm gonna grab my first bowl of chocolates here. These cute little red heart chocolates. And just look at that. They can just all go in there. So how cute would this just stick on a co-worker's desk? It's nothing, I mean, it's Valentine-y, but it's not you know, particularly like a couple-y type Valentine. So I'm just gonna close that over. It holds very nice with no extra adhesive. Super cute all around. What do you guys think? Um, so the, yes, the camera is very low and sometimes you're going off the bottom. Thanks, Nicole. Yeah, it's, um, I tried a different angle and my stand keeps, uh, I'll take a picture after to show you. The camera keeps uh, lowering slowly, so I'll be careful. Um, I remember you've made a card with the mitten last year. Yes, I sure did. Okay, so let me put that one aside and let's try the next thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you the thing first and then I'm going to make it. It is one of my favorite little box things to make. It's called a 2468 box and it will become um, obvious in a second. So I'm going to take a piece of pool party. I'm going to actually move this out of the way so I can get my cutter in here. Okay. Let's take this cutter and I'm going to take my um, paper. So this is pool party and I wanted to do something that wasn't Valentine's color but could be nice maybe for a guy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let me get my sample out of the way too. Extend the arm out on here and I'm going to cut this down to eight and a half so that this paper is now square. Eight and a half by eight and a half. You could do whatever size you like. So mine's quite a tall box. You could make it shorter if you want to. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to score it so when you're scoring, I'm trying to slide this scoring thing in here, um, you are using the lighter blade. So I'm going to score it at two, four, six, and eight. So there's two, there's four, there's six, and there's eight. Now remember, this is only eight and a half uh, wide, so it's just a little tiny bit on the side. And then I'm going to turn it for the bottom, whatever the bottom is going to be, and I'm going to make that also two inches. Okay, so the 2468 box is what this is called. Move my cutter out of the way. I'm going to take a pair of scissors, just a plain pair of scissors. Well, first I'm going to score all those lines so you can see them. So again, if you're wondering how to score these are sort of indented, so I call them valleys, and you're gonna turn them into mountains. Okay, and there's that little wee strip. You can use a bone folder to get a good crease on each of those. Oops. And then the bottom one. Okay, so you can use this for Valentine's, for Christmas, just for, just because. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut out this one little corner just because it's excess, we don't need it. And then I'm gonna trim from the bottom up on each of these panels. Okay, so now let's decorate this quickly. And I have a wee scrap paper here so I don't muck up my nice thing underneath. And I'm using from that same stamp set, which is called again, Celebrate with Tags. Da -da. Um, a pretty peacock looks nice with the pool party and I'm gonna stamp this is not what I meant to do not that one I'm sorry <laughs> hold on it works it totally works but this is what I meant to use one two and three here everything going crash boom and bang that that works you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just so it doesn't look funny I'm gonna just do this all down the side 
Okay, and then I'm going to do use this for the rest. So I've got three little stamps here. They are from the Be Mine stamp set. So here it is. Oh, Be My Valentine, I guess is what it's called. And there's three little hearts in here. So they're great. And I'm going to use them first on my tag. So I have a little tag here. And the tag is from this set. It's not a set I use very often, but I just like the shape, the top of the shape, and it's called Something Fancy from the annual catalog. Okay, I think I've shown you everything I've got there. So I'm going to stamp the Happy Valentine's Day, which is from the Be Mine set. And I'm going to just stamp it like that. And then I'm going to add the Sweet Sorbet. Again, three hearts. So there's one and two. I'm just checking to make sure I'm on camera and I am. So I, I haven't looked at your comments yet because I, I'm needing five hands. Um, okay, so that's a cute little tag, right? And I want to take another block and I'm going to wipe these because I could stamp these all over. That's not a wipe. Wipe. Um, and that'll be fine. Just going to take a little more work. So I want to show you a trick. So just give these all a quick wipe. It's a good thing I'm not giving away this box because this box will be assembled. Um, I'll give. I'll make another one that won't be assembled. I can take these and I can put them on a block as its own little composition, like this. So as if it was. Let's just turn this one a bit more sideways. As if it was a stamp that came like that with all three hearts on it. So now I can do this and I've got that pattern automatically and see how fast I can create this. Now I'm going to turn it a little bit so it's not all exactly the same. Oops, that one wasn't stamped well. Really good thing this is not going to be yours. I'm not letting it sit and seep, which is really the trick with photopolymer. Let it sit and let it seep. And I'm going to do the bottom too, because it's nice when you see that this, this area needs a little more. Okay, so there we go. There's our box all stamped with Pretty Peacock and Pool Party. And now I'm going to put it together. So we need that tearing tape again. And I'm going to grab that. And Nicole says, that's a good idea to combine the stamps on one block. Um, you couldn't do that with the wood stamps. No, you could not. There's a lot more you can do with photopolymer. You can customize them quite a bit. Um, and in one of my classes recently, I was showing how to take, so this is one of my paid classes, um, how to take a stamp and really curve it to suit your purpose. Okay, so there's that. Okay, and on the bottom, I'm just going to stick some seal just for, um, sake of time here. Let me get rid of this. Um, but I probably would use, uh, and I think I, I just went one too far. <laughs> I should not have done that last one. Um, so I'll be really careful how I stick this. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Anyways, you'll remind me. Fold it up. Sake of time. That's what I'm saying. Like that at first and then these ones are just going to fold into each other like this so you really don't want anything on the last panel i'll just touch it a lot so we can stick it okay and then you would take your stuff i'm going to put this under here so if it sticks to anything it's going to be that so i've got these cute little adorable um red and pink candy kisses so you can fill that box right up i'm gonna i'll put everything in here then those chocolates are out of my face <laughs> and then all you do is you take this, hopefully you can see that, yeah, that's a good angle, and just push it in. And you got almost like a little milk. How cute is that? Okay, and then I'm going to take um, a punch. Now, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell this anymore. This is called a crocodile. It's a great big punch. And slide it in there and make a hole. We don't even sell the little handheld punches anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, and then I also need a punch in the here, but you uh, can use 
um, even the take a pick tool to, to make a hole if you wanted. This is quite a big hole I'm making. Okay, and then speaking of the take a pick tool, here it is with the wrong end on it this time. And the correct end is this is a game for today. Luckily, I have more of those ends. This is the end I want. It comes with both, but I want the one with the little um, scoring end on it because I can take a piece of ribbon and I can use it to shove that ribbon through, which is awesome. And then I can do the same over here too. Just get it to, just instead of scissors because this is a little softer on that ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to put this like this, stuck to my paper. <laughs> Yeah, I always say if I can stamp it, someone else can because I'm a little bit of a spaz. But somehow I've been still able to do this for 20 years and make pretty things. So I'm going to just tie this into a bow. I'm still on camera, guys, eh? Okay, so here we go. How about I pull in my actual sample, which is way prettier. <laughs> also full of chocolate. And I think I didn't add anything on here, but my original plan was to add one of these Be Mine gems because there's some in Pool Party. So let's do that. Oop, sorry, not in the camera. I'm just going sideways again. Here we go. And I'm going to grab a heart, a blue heart, which it doesn't want to participate here. Switching out the tip. Okay. And let's add, well, it decided it wanted to be right there, but that's not where I want you to go. Come here. Come on. <gasps> Wherever it lands, that's it. <laughs> that's where I wanted it. Perfect. So how cute is that? Cute, 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 cute. Okay, so one more. This is the easiest one that I have coming up. And I'm sure you've seen me make this before, but I'm gonna pull it in as a reminder. Um, so I also need to clean this block with my wipe that I just keep disappearing. Here we go. Yvonne says, really cute. And Nicole says, she always learns so much from me. Oh good, I'm so glad. <laughs> what not to do, maybe. I need an episode. Okay, we need that stamp. Okay, so paper is here somewhere, I know. And if it's not, we'll cut another one. Honestly, if you saw how tiny the space was that I work in, you would understand why things go missing. Um, okay, so it's missing and it's gonna show up as soon as I cut this other one, I know it. So let me just grab a piece of paper here. Still looking for it. So this is from this package of paper. Again, I'm not going to show it all to you, but it's huge. It's got like 40 some odd sheets. It's called Delightfully Eclectic. I've used it before, um, different patterns. And what I'm doing here is I'm getting a six by six. So I don't know if you know this, but if you have your cutter closed and you push this right up against the edge, that is exactly six inches. Okay, so I'm starting with a six by six piece of paper and I'm going to take it. Super cute. This one's got little strawberries on it. How cute is that? And a pretty bubble bath color on the inside. And the color I think is supposed to be Calypso Coral, but it really looks like Sweet Sorbet, like a lighter version of it to me. Phone folder would help. Again, I was trying to make this not as valentine -y looking, but the colors obviously make it valentine -y. And then this is going to fold over like this. So the corner right up to the edge here. This is what I call a little French fry box. Okay, and then this corner over here. You know, every time you make it, it might be slightly off or slightly different. And that's fine as long as it roughly has that shape. So this is what it looks like right now. And then I take this part here and just fold that over. And just give it a rough seal and you don't need any adhesive at all and it's just super cute to stick in our last treat now i wanted ghirardelli chocolates couldn't find any so i'm using the york peppermint patty which will do just nicely to put that in there so how cute is that but let's make it a little cuter i'm going to take a little tag 
which is from this one. Again, I've used this one before with you guys, tailor-made tags. And I've got this here, and I'm going to use this and this. And then one more that is hiding the ribbon we need. And the scissors. And this one. And this one. And this one. There we go. I got everything. So the happy the happy Valentine's Day friend is from this stamp set. It's called Love for You. It's in the uh, main catalog. It's got these pretty um, flowers and dyes that match and everything. But it does have a happy Valentine's Day and it has the word friend. Sorry, grabbing a sip of water. <clears throat> I see someone saying get well. I'm sorry if someone is sick. That's too bad. And yet you're here watching. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this. Now, this is a really skinny stamp. And uh, you would think that I put it on a nice skinny block like this, but what I want to be able to do, and I'm hoping you can see over my shoulder over the camera, is be able to see more of that tag. And the only way to do that is to have a bigger block. So that's why I have that mounted on a bigger block. But then this one can go on a smaller block. Okay, so happy birthday, friend. So this is a friend card for sure. And I'm going to use bubble bath with those cute little hearts. I'm going to pull in my scrap paper. Oh, look what I just found. No, no, that's the one I cut. It is totally hiding here somewhere. Uh, my scrap paper that I threw away recklessly before is now somewhere. I'll use this piece of computer paper. This is someone who wants catalog on the other side. Um, so I'm just stamping a couple of those hearts on there. So really simple, pretty. Okay, and my take a pick tool. Let me just tuck these out of the way, only because again, I'm a little spazzy, so we want to get that out of the way. Straightening the camera and grabbing the end. I guess I need to have my other take a pick tool here for my lives so that I have everything in hand. Here it is here. Just gonna also look at my finger. Look at my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one, this one back on, so that I can push this through. Sometimes on a card, I just fake it. I don't actually put it all the way through, um, and I just use a glue dot. Oh, we got a lovely little purp, uh, blue dot on there. Um, I use a little glue dot to just hold a bolt on and not actually go through the hole. Uh, but because this is a 3D item, no, I've just cut that too short. That's fine. We'll make this one like this. Uh, you really need it to go all the way through. Okay, so then I'm going to put this on here. Let's use a dimensional to do that. Here we go. So this is the only adhesive on here. Now, I'm, this may actually sort of pop up a little bit more. Let me show you my original when it's here. So here's my original one. Um, this actually pops up just a little bit because there's something on top of there. So I think for this one, I'm actually just going to be proactive here and add a little bit of tape here. Normally it's enough. The fold is enough. It's tight enough to hold it down. So let's just add that on there. Okay, and then whew. happy birthday, friend. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy birthday. Happy Valentine's Day, friend. How cute is that with the little red uh, saying and then the pink ribbon. So there's one with a bow and there's one without a bow. So let me bring in all the things to show you and I will look at your comments. So here we go. And then the handmade with love. And I'm just checking to see if they're all in frame. They are even though my camera is so wonky. Um, Beth says I wouldn't want to miss your video. Watching, oh, from your hospital bed, recovering from the, oh, Beth, I hear you, um, that I've had my knee replaced, and I know that's very painful, you take care of yourself, do all your exercises, um, and you, and Nicole said, get well, I love that, that you guys are so cute together, uh, so neat, Nan says, love the colors, Carol says, this is cute, um, Vaughn said, that's smart, I had to show that one, because I wasn't feeling that smart, <laughs> um, Rita says, she also has a crop dial, yeah, it's a good tool, uh, Nancy says she that's so cute. Loves the choices of colors. Um, 
and John Ross says, I'm 20 years younger today is my birthday. Well, happy birthday. Um, and Diane says, um, whoops, kind of show that very versatile project for any occasion. Uh, yes, thank you, Nicole. I love Nicole. You when you're on my lives, you're my like sound check and visual check. It's awesome. Um, okay, I think I got all your comments. And Rita says they're all very cute. I'm glad you like them. So you know the nice thing with treat boxes, you only need a couple sort of styles and then you can use them for lots of things. So these two are completely homemade. And then this one is using the really cute little pillow box. I think these would be adorable on a Christmas table with a Christmas theme. Um, but these pillow boxes are just in the mini catalog now. Um, but they're just, they're really nice because they're easy to put together. So check those out. Um, okay, so that is it for me today. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care.